Good day, everyone. This is Fresh Rewind. This is another episode of the Fresh Rewind Hip Hop Gardener. I'm going to talk about how everything started. So, in the beginning, I wanted to grow some fruits and vegetables, and I didn't have a lot of space. So, what I did, I looked at some research and looked into some of the issues that I had with gardening, with some of the issues that other people have with gardening. And one of the biggest challenges that I run across is the watering system. So, one of the problems is remembering when to water and how much to water. So I often forget those different things, when to do so, when not to do so, and I've had a lot of problems with that in the past. So I started doing some research and looking around and I found the self-watering system. So the basis of the self-watering system is that the plant is at the top and at the bottom you have this reservoir. Now there's a variety of ways to build one of these things. One of the ways that I started with was to get a two liter bottle cut it about in half, turn it upside down, and put that two liter bottle top down into the bottom. So when you do that, what it does is, you, then you put your dirt on the top of it, and in the bottom you have your reservoir. So as the plant grows, the root system grows down into the water. Once it gets into the water, it's able to make sure it has enough. That cuts back on your need to watering, and, but there's a, a trick to it. You have to make sure you don't put too much water in it. You have to make sure there is an overflow area so that the extra water can flow out. Because if you put too much water, they'll drown. If you don't put enough water, they'll die that way. So the key is to try to find that proper balance. Ideally, you want to go about two inches of water and the plant can just dip its feet into the water and it'll work out just fine. So with this smaller system, the, way, the reason I started with that smaller one because I didn't have a lot of space and I was just trying out different things. Some of the advantages of doing so is, as I mentioned, it's great on not having to do a lot of watering. Some of the drawbacks to it is the plants that you grow can only be so big. So that's what I found. So in the, in the first, so I've been doing this about five years. So each year I get bigger and bigger. And in the course of the next several videos, you'll see how I've been evolving and slowly growing out my garden larger and larger. Some of the pictures you're seeing now is talking about how and showing you the different ways that I set up my garden in the beginning. And if you have a small patio, this is a great way to get started, especially if you're doing simple things like herbs, or just greens like lettuce and items that don't necessarily require fruit. Many of the fruiting item, items can get so big that you need a larger container to do so. But just to get started, you can do it like I did here and get your two liters and it'll work just fine for you.